Well, good morning. This is July the 2nd. And I knew that was going to happen as soon as I said something. Welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. This is Ivy's litter of kids. And they were just spayed and neutered yesterday. And as you can see, it didn't really face anybody very much. Um, I cannot tell you how it is such an awesome thing and it's so much better for these guys to be done as a juvenile. There is no Elizabethan collars. There's one teeny tiny stitch on these males. There's no swelling this morning. We're having a tug of war over here. And this morning I did not do weights. Um, they have not changed a whole lot from last week. So this week I just want to donate this time to letting you see how good they're doing. I wanted to uh, talk to you about a couple things before they go home. If we are shipping you your puppy, you are going to go to the airport to pick up. Do not let this puppy out at the airport to go to the potty. Uh, you pick up all disease, and please remember this even when you get home. You pick up all disease from feces and urine. I have so many people that go, oh, I'm signed up for a puppy class. We start next week. Please don't do that. I cannot stress that enough. Wait till you finish your shots. Don't worry about the few weeks it's going to take before you go in to get your shots as far as socialization, your family, and playing with this puppy, and I'm sure visitors that come into your house um, are going to be adequate for what you need. Please don't have people bring their dog to meet your dog. Here's the skivvy on that. If they walk their hot dogs around the, the neighborhood, or they go to the city park, or they go to the dog walks, or they go to the bike trails, feces lasts in the ground for up to six months. Um, Parvo is still a viable threat up to six months if a dog has gone to the bathroom and it's in the uh, grass and your dog steps in it and even if you can't see it and he licks his paws or gets it in his mouth you now have whatever that dog had that he just stepped in and that just pray that it's not parvo a lot of people don't understand parvo it is a wicked wicked disease if you catch it usually in the first five to seven days you're dead um, so please be diligent, diligent of that. Uh, your shoes, for even of those who are not going to be flying your dog, your shoes are another issue. Uh, you could have stepped in some feces and never knew it and take it home and your dog licks your shoes. And there you go. So please, please be very careful of that. If your kids have friends with a new puppy, don't have a puppy play date. Wait till those both puppies get their shots, even if the other puppy has had their shots. Please don't do it. I'm sorry to harp on the parvo issue, but I've had it twice over a 31-year period. Both times were brought in by other people, and it is devastating. We lost half of our kennel about 25 years ago in 11 days. Um, I think we lost 27 dogs. We saved nothing, even on all the IVs, the vets. I had puppies at my house on IVs. Um, it cost us about 11 grand. And not only the loss of the money, but was the more important was the loss of life that we had. Um, so please be diligent of the Parvo thing. I know that um, it's tough. A lot of people don't understand it, but it's out there. Ohio is rampant with it. Whoop. Okay. On a lighter note, uh, when you go to pick up your puppy, if the crate is clean, it does not smell when you pick it up. Please don't look in the door and go, hi, how are you? Don't do that, high voice. You're going to make it pee if it has not messed all day. It's going to. Um, the best thing you can do for your puppy and you Put it in the car quietly. Don't talk to it. Carry it right out and put it in the car. Leave it still and quiet and go home. Um, if it hasn't defecated in that crate, don't let it out. Because the only place for you to let it out is a public area around an airport. Just go home. But take a trash bag with you, some clean newspaper, some paper towels, some wet wipes. So that if the dog has defecated or you talk to it and then it defecates, you can clean out the crate, 
You can put new paper in. You can wipe the puppy's feet off if it needs it. And you can throw everything that you have in a trash bag. So take your airport uh, diaper bag <laughs> for a puppy with you to the airport. A uh, couple other things people have asked me. Bathing these guys. You can absolutely bathe these puppies twice a week if you need to. Use an all-natural shampoo. Make sure that you don't use something like Johnson's Baby Shampoo, any other baby shampoo on the product that does not say all-natural. It's not a good shampoo for you to use on a dog. It strips the oil from their coat, and then you have an itchy puppy. Uh, but if you love on this puppy all the time, or if you live near water and you're going all the time, the puppy gets gross, plays in the sand, uh, take it home and give it a bath. You're fine. If you are a boater this summer, they do make dog vests for dogs that are really cool. Pet Shed, or Pet Edge, uh, sells some really good uh, life preservers, and they're cheap. They have a handle on the back so you can pick them up when you are... Uh, if you need to, if the dog jumps out of the boat and you need to pick it up, there's a handle on the back of that life preserver. So I hope you have a wonderful summer with your new puppy. You can tell right now they're getting hot. They are slowing down. It is going to be a wicked hot day here today. So they've already chilled out in just the six minutes we've done this video. We just brought them out a few minutes ago. It was kind of a cagundra mess in there. When we brought him home from the vet, my vet mixed up all three litters in the crates. <laughs> so when we got home, we just put them in the kennels. And so this morning it was microchip time because we had to figure out which puppy went with which litter. And there were 25 puppies to go through. So it was crazy. Uh, let's see. A couple things too. Be really stern with this puppy. Please, please remember that the first two months you spend with this puppy are going to set the tone for the rest of this puppy's life with you. This puppy is looking for someone that's going to be uh, the pack leader. If it's not you, it will be the dog. Um, there is a point where they just get to where you think, I can't control these, I can't do anything. Good dogs, I, that's how should I put this? There's not a bad puppy, it's bad owners. Um, and it's sad when they're raised to where they're just turned loose and they're treated like children. They're not children. They do not have any human feelings. Do not feel guilty when you leave them alone for the day. Give them a new toy every day. Give them a chewy every day. Something they can do they haven't seen. Uh, a big thing that I'm always telling everybody about, the cheapest toy in the whole world is a water bottle. Throw the lid away. Put the water bottle without a lid in a tube sock. Tie the tube sock shut. It's the greatest, cheapest crapple toy you'll ever find. Works wonderful. The, uh, the other thing that is really good is uh, raw bones. I'm a big, big, big advocate on raw bones. Um, we raise beef for sale, and when we butcher, or we butcher for other people, I always have our uh, processing house save me all the bones, because nobody else wants them. I do. Uh, they will chew for hours on a raw bone. The bone marrow is so good for them. It's got tons of vitamins and minerals and things you can't get from snacks that you buy over the shelf. So if you buy a leg bone, which is also called a shank bone, it's round in the middle. The other thing it reminds you of is a soup bone. Uh, they cannot eat it. They cannot even break the bone. It is rock hard. They will gnaw and chew on that. It will help cut their teeth. Um, they will also suck that bone marrow out of the center and get their tongue down in there and clean it off. What are you yakking at, guys? Um, so please don't be afraid of raw bones. I love rib bones. Uh, dear, if you got a friend that hunts, oh, for heaven's sake, ask him for all the bones he'll give you. Uh, rib bones are phenomenal. They're honeycombed in the center. So when your dog chews them, they chew with their front incisors and their front teeth. Their teeth actually perforate that bone, and eventually, they eat the whole bone. I know you keep staring at me. I know I'm talking to you. This is okay. I'm coming over here. Um, so bones can be your best friend, and they run about. Well, it used to be people gave them away, and now they found out they can make money on them. So you can't get free bones anymore. I'm, I'm, I don't think. At least we can't around here. Um, so probably. 
$1.99 to $2.50 maybe a pound. It's a cheap treat. If you look at that bag of treats you're going to buy at the store. I'm also going to do a video later today on treats and things that I really, really use here. I think you'll find it helpful, especially if you're a Costco shopper. I get my Costco dibs in. I love Costco. I should be, I should be on their payroll, I think. Um, I send so many people there, and, and when you come here, I'll be, you'll hear my Costco spiel. Uh, I'm not going into it on the video, but um, treats can be your, not, not necessarily treats. Treats like, I love Bill Jacks in the bag. It's the most economical treat out there. You can cut them in four pieces. You don't want to feed them a whole treat because then it becomes their meal for the day and they don't want to eat their food. So don't be an over snacker. It's like an over slacker. What are you doing, guys? I know I see you. That's the yellow collar barking at me. That's the other, that's a neon pink under me. I was trying to spot some collars. Um, I don't remember what she has. That's neon, nope, that's a leaf. I started to say neon green. That's light pink, it looks like. The party running down through there. Um, so anyway, we'll talk about snacks and stuff too when you come. Um, and then I will probably put the new snack video on the page with your puppies. I'm also going to put it on the general information page. So if you ever want to go back and refer to it, um, it'll be on there. And we're trying to catch the general kennel information page up to date because when we moved over from the old website, a lot of the headings came over as the purple color. We got a good shot of that one. Uh, and there's the neon, it's a forest green tramping away from us there. Uh, but anyway, we lost a lot of information that was on the general kennel information page, so I'm going to try and stock that back up with lots of information. And there's going to be new things coming for the internet, but oh my golly, there's not enough hours and days in my week right now. Um, these guys are current on everything they can have before they go home. Your health cards, if we're shipping to you, will be on top of your crate. If you're coming to pick up, it'll be in your puppy packet. Um, and I don't have a lot of water nuts in this group, so nobody plays in the water bowl. That's always a good thing, for especially in the house. Um, that's the neon green black puppy right there. I was trying to spot what color that collar was. And you keep staring at me. This little Merle right here that keeps staring at me does have a blue eye. What color? Oh, that's forest green. Forest green does have a blue eye. Okay, gotcha. Um, so... I know that was a lot of yakking information at you. Um, I hope everything has uh, been helpful for you while you've been with us uh, for the purchase of your puppy. I love doing this or I wouldn't do it because you have no idea how much work this is. Uh, we try really hard. I mean, my crew is so good. Vanessa is just, she's becoming a mini me. And oh, there we go, right in the water bowl. I was waiting on somebody to do that. <laughs> uh, so the girls work really hard. Vanessa puts in way extra hours. Um, she's always willing to come in, even on a midnight run when I'm having babies, but I've never had her do that yet. But uh, there's times I'd love to. Neon pink, black puppy is right there. I just got a spot of her color. She's on top of that argument. Uh, oh, there's another blue eyed puppy. So what color is your color? Uh, purple, purple has a blue eye. Oh, there you go, you can see that blue eye. Um, well, we're down to th 13 minutes, so I got to wrap this up. When you come around to pick up your puppies, and I'm going to make you dizzy here, you're going to come around the side of my house from over there where those cars are parked. That's Vanessa's truck and Brittany's car. Don't park there. My van says schnoodle on the license plate. Come over and park by my tree. Uh, the woods is here. You'll see the propane tank out here. So when you come up, park clear over here by the house under my maple tree. Um, I'll try and have my van in the appropriate spot, not sticking in the middle of the yard, because all the puppies are right in behind me in our garage door here. Um, in fact, I'm gonna turn around again. My, my son hates it when I do this. So this is the door you're gonna come in. There's lots of flower pots here. Um, the carpet mats there, the ferns are here. So that's where you're gonna come in. So I'm gonna turn, I don't wanna rechange this because then I have to do it goofy to load it up. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This will probably be your last video. Um, I know you can save videos somehow off my website. I don't know how, you'll have to go to YouTube and ask them how to save them. 
but I know you can do it. So have a great week. We'll see many of you soon.